I have to ask this question. If you were to do it all over again um, and convert from a for-profit to a nonprofit or even start this nonprofit, would you do it again? Loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I would because um, the nonprofit space has the ability to do it's good, right? And call folks in. I think um, I, again, would make sure <laughs> that I have the right folks at the table. And I think um, I'd like to see a deeper investment in technical assistance for childcare centers or small nonprofits that are looking to go in this direction so that they can fully analyze the impact um, that changing your business structure will have on your business. Um, you know, we started off with this fundraising gap. Everyone said, oh, people will give. Well, no, <laughs> we actually threw ourselves into a debt space and we're finally coming out of that. Um, and I would say to folks that are, you know, um, wondering if they should invest in um, having a CFO, it is so worth it. We were so nervous, of, you know, about the investment because, you know, um, it, it seemed at first blush like, wow, this is a lot, but it really isn't what we've been able to do with your uh, team has been phenomenal um, from looking at tuition rates and um, we, we weren't charging enough to fully cover the tuition and looking at ways to um, collaborate with organizations around town or um, just taking a creative colorful look at our budget has been so helpful and it, it allows me to do the job that I came to do, which is serve children, so. Well, let's not forget my clearly most immediate value working with me, the constant harassment on, we need to find more money. We need to find more money. So I <laughs> ring the alarms and you just go out and make magic happen. So <laughs> and it's not too, really but, listed on my website, but. <laughs> I think too, um, you uh, do a little bit more than just that. I think what I think is so amazing about you is as a woman, you have not been afraid to, to empower other women to use their voice. And as a leader of a nonprofit, you have to tell the story and you've got to ask people for help. You know, I was afraid to go and ask for money or um, to ask for the help that I needed. And I have enjoyed working with you because you pushed me to think about how we're going to eat more often. And um, we're finally at a place where we can take a deep breath and actually find joy in what we're doing. And that's the hope for many organizations.